Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Look out! My boy, Mike! Good to see you! How the fuck you know? I need me some cardio. I'm good, you know what I'm saying? I, I got a double no, earn. No, I can't wait to spend some time with you. Cousin Floyd says strip clubs objectify women, but you ain't objects. You're people. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all right, me! Enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh... <laughs> out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> The other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's gotta be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, uh, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again. I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. 
Uh, what else? Um, oh, right. Uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? <laughs> mm, mm. Um, all right, uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay, um, two guns. The first driver will pop... Third time working together, why not? Ah, okay. This one's new blood. Ah. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it Ah, think about my buddy Chef. Oh, he's here. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douche. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Yo, I'm gonna call you this weekend. What's good? I lost What's count of how many man? boobies I seen. Pigs hang around my crib every day and shit. I don't even know what the fuck they looking for, but those motherfuckers better watch that shit. What the hell, bro? Trace? Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. Thank you. 
What is wrong with you? Thank you. 
sorry about that. Yeah, so we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with it? I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. Hey, you want some Alright, Lester. Drills at the lot. Good work, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. Just an online persona. Uh, it was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim, you're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Nice car! 
front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sick. Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's his herd, huh? The size of your herd? No matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick! I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with you? What's wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle to survive birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly. Enough! All right? Eat fucking enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. All right, the troll could come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here. It smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here.
Trevor, I need your help. I'm taking down that train we need for the UD, and I'm short a pilot. Fine! I think Lester arranged for the chopper to be at my airstrip. I'll go get it. Cool. Let me know when you're there. I'll be on a headset.
you wanted a train? I got you a train, Lester. Once we've got the getaway vehicle, we're good to go. I got something we can use for the getaway. I'll call you when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Getaway cars in the garage. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need, and we'll meet at the strip club. To see you. What ain't gonna happen? Four hundred million dollars isn't making this guy a player, and it ain't making you a good person. Now put on your clothes. Hey, so we ready for to get this shit cracking, right? Yes, oh yeah. yes. If you actually get dressed, then maybe you will. Ready for action, huh? Let's go! 
All right, I'm gonna meet my guy at the bank. Gold ain't ours yet, but we are this close. Get the crew. Let's go, let's go! Lester in the air, running comms and managing the link up with the train. Some Renohood ain't gonna be able to handle logistics, T. You ready to do something profoundly stupid? With you, M, I'd do anything. All right, man. I'm going through the vault wall. Get down! Get down on the floor! You're being robbed! There's your wall! Put a hole in it! Calling all units. Hey, here we go! Another influx of cops! 
I got the other side. Just get the gold ready to go. I don't care how far underground you gotta go to get it. I ain't leaving the Union Depository without some gold. Half the gold is GTG. I'll hold them off as long as you need me to. Just keep them off me. Well, this is awkward. Cause I ain't leaving here without the gold. Hey T, the metal's ready to go. Where the chopper's at? Helicopter inbound. See you in a second. Tell T the metal's ready. Hey, we got you. Lord of Wind. Hey, I got this one. Look at the next one. On the floor! On the floor! Oh, shit! Over there, dog. Look out! They're through the vault door. Check the hole. Everything okay down there? Don't worry about us. Just get the bricks out. Get back in the bank. Where are all these cops leaving? I got the lamps. They got men rappelling into the hall. I gotta pull the chopper out a minute. How's those choppers doing? Across all the street. Metal's gone. There's nothing to die for. On me. Come on. My pockets are empty, officer. This way. Let's go. Hey, they didn't give us the goal. Man. It was a whole lot oh, less successful than your lick, but we needed to divide attention. Woo! Cop! Out the way! Hey, keep moving! We're getting out one way or another! Let's get to the other side! We're meeting up at the Alta Street footbridge. Go home, don't die. We ain't even got a dive pack. Back. This the way. Doing the walk in the Union Depository, man. It was a whole lot less successful than your lick, but we needed to divide attention. Woo! Cop! Hey, come on! We gotta get across the bridge! Get out of here! 
On the floor! Going to throw! Come on! Let's 
book, man. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Put your foot down. Like any score, you just lose the cop. They catch us, man. We never getting out. Think of the metal, let's go! Drop out! 
Look, man, I'm gonna get the car up out of here, all right? All right. Hey, you two, come with me. I'm gonna need some help getting the metal in storage for a few days before I can sell it. Both of us? Yes, both of you. All right, it's been a pleasure working with you. You'll get paid when we get the cash. But until then, I want you to keep it on the down low. No new cars, no vacations. No nothing! Now, come on, sugar! <laughs> oh, fuck me. That's dumb luck right there. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, 
You got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor. And I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing, but you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got, so why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill... 
Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Damn! Yeah, we're Where we going? We uh heading to the foundry place. Hey, what's up? Hey girlfriend. Hey, girl. hey look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with Man, we got a real problem, dog. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who wanna clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. Least I don't think he gonna be there. Damn, this reckless. I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' as, huh? Oh my god! Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Look, man, Mike and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. Yeah, I'm bringing a rifle. It's a good gun. It'll get the job. 
up. Hey, man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me. You're saving him. Ah, oh, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we're doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Watch your sector. Gee, dog, you gotta wait.
You had me worried. I took a knock. Sitting out a few rounds. It's good to know you care. Yeah, well, don't do it again. Watch out! Never have my feet to the way! like we did it. See it for now. Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. What the hell yo, let me see, there's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang and Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh, Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. 
Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. 